Hey babe. Any more responses from any of your family about our renewal of vows? Yeah, obviously my dad and Christy are coming. They've had their savior in Somalia. Jade wants to come and my mom changed her mind about coming when I said my dad would be there. Total slut bag. Oh that's great. And Olive is coming too. I was just about to call Elisha actually. I want her to be there when we renew our vows. Why? Elisha and I had an affair. The only reason we are renewing our vows now. Yes well, I want her to watch us profess our undying love while she sits there like the jealous cow she is. I will have the complete satisfaction of knowing I still have got you and she was barely a choice to you. Rosie you can't do that. Especially because Daniel has just died. It would be insensitive. No it isn't. It will give her a happy thing to focus on. Our renewal of vows will help her get over her dead husband and the fact that she's now a widow at the age of 51. It will be fine, I'll call her now. Hello. Hi Alicia. It's Rosie. I was wondering if you wanted to come along to mine and Matt's renewing of vows ceremony when clampdown is over. I never thought you could stoop any lower. My husband died yesterday on national television Rosie. I do not want to sit there watching you and Matt, the person that cheated on you for me, kiss and make up and prove to me that you're better than ever. You insensitive bitch. I'm not being insensitive. I'm trying to help you move on Elisha. You need to move on now and not hold on to the past. I've let go of you and Matt betraying me. The least you could do is do the same and be there. Daniel died yesterday. And you're telling me to move on. Fuck you Rosie. This isn't about you. Leave me and my family alone to grieve you selfish selfish person. I don't know why you were so upset. He cheated on you in the past and he was a sewer man. Sounds like you won the lottery for getting shot of him to me. Can you believe that? She hung up. I did nothing wrong. Are you comfy Kiernan? Do you need any more creams and ointments for the evening? It's Foxy B to you. And no, I am fine thank you. Let's do another show. Hello, Foxy B here. What's chewing on you? Hi Kiernan it's Etta here from Meet Me Magazines. Hi Etta, make sure you call me Foxy B, it's just protocol. That won't be necessary. We at Eat Me Magazines feel agony and Foxy B has run its course. Done all that it can possibly do. Well I certainly don't feel that way. What are you saying? I'm saying that agony and Foxy B has had its time. It has now come to an end as of now. It was never a forever thing, just until we found a new sponsor and a new idea to put out there. Have you got a new idea or sponsor? Yes. We have been sponsored by Dragface. There seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel with clamp down and everything so they are beginning to start working on their new season. We want to be involved. So I guess Foxy B is no more. Well if I'm not Foxy B, then who am I? I guess you're just another person. Thank <laughs> you.